There once was a handsome Spanish hen who had a large brood of chicks. They were all quite fine, plump little birds, except for one, the youngest, who was quite unlike any of his siblings. He had only one leg, one wing, one eye, and so on. She felt sorry for him and decided to name him Medio Pollito, which in Spanish means half chick. As Medio Pollito grew, he became more and more adventurous, and finally he decided he needed to travel and see the world. Mother, I am tired of this boring farm life. I must see the world, so I am off to Madrid to see the king. To Madrid? Oh, Medio Pollito, that is much too far for you and your young half-body. Wait until you are older, please. I have made up my mind. Nothing will stop me. Oh, foolish half-chick. Well, if you must go, please remember to be sure you are kind and civil to everyone you meet. Medio Pollito was in such a hurry that he barely heard his mother's parting words. He was off. Not long into his journey, he came upon a little stream that was choked and overgrown with weeds. Please... Please help clear away this grass that grows over me. They are choking me, and I cannot flow freely. <laughs> do you think I have nowhere else to be? Help indeed. Help yourself, and do not bother busy travelers. The half-chick hurried off, and before long he came upon a fire that had been left in the woods. Oh! Medio Pojito, please throw some leaves and branches on my coals before I go completely out. Ah! Help you? I have other things to do. Gather sticks for yourself. The next day, the half-chick could see Madrid in the distance, and he came upon a large tree in whose branches the wind was caught and entangled. Little half-chick, please hop up here and get me free from these branches. I cannot break free by myself. It is your own fault for going up there. I can't waste all morning stopping here to help you. Free yourself, silly wind. I am off to see the king. Medio Pollito entered Madrid, and as he was taking in all the splendor, the king's cook, who was boiling a huge pot of soup in the courtyard, saw him, snatched him up, and threw him into the giant cauldron. Oh no! This is not good at all! Uh, water! Water! Please have pity on me and do not wet me like this! Ah, uh, Medio Pollito. You would not help me when I was a little stream tangled in the grass. I will not help you now. Oh, please. Uh, fire! Fire! Do not scorch me like this. I will surely be burned up. Ah, Medio Pollito. You would not help me when I was nothing but embers in the woods. I will not help you now. Right as he thought he would be burned to bits, the cook returned to stir the soup. Oh dear, this chick is burnt to a cinder. He is quite useless now. 
The cook threw the half-chick up in the air, and the wind who was passing by took hold of him and whirled him around in the air. Oh, wind, uh, please don't rush me about like this. Do let me rest. Please. <sighs> Medio pollito. When I was caught in the branches of the tree, you would not help me. I will not help you now. The wind twirled Medio Pollito all over the city and finally fastened him on top of the highest steeple in Madrid. There he remains to this day, all because he was not kind to those he met. <laughs> 